Hey, 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 man, we got a club car here. I'm going to show you uh, how to wire up a set of batteries. <coughs> Remember, you can start with one battery, and then you can work your way around. If you look at it here, you got your, your of course, you, your negative can't reach to this side over here, so you got your main positive there. You got your negative here. So what we're going to do, pick up a battery with the battery strap. You what you can use. I'm gonna take my wire harness, took out of the way, and then I'm gonna take my battery here. All right, let's put a negative, put a negative right there. So we're gonna put a negative on the, the first spot, on the on the back of the the back of the cart. I'm gonna put my positive right right here. So this is my positive, this is my negative. And also, man, make sure you stay tuned, man, because I'm going to give you a tip. But I'm going to show you how to, a simple way to get these here off and on without crawling under the car and laying down. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is put another battery in. Now you got your main negative right here. This is your main negative, positive. So it has to run in a series, so we're going to go positive and negative. So you take your negative battery, next battery, and put it toward the outside of the cart. All right. So you got your negative, negative, positive, negative, positive. So what's next? Yep, that's right, man. You said it right. I'm a negative. I heard you. I heard you. I heard you back there sitting in the couch, sitting on the couch. I heard you, buddy, with a hat on. Nah, man, I just messing with y'all, man. But you got the positive and negative here, all right? So you know right there you have it in series. Right here you have 18 volts. Now what I'm going to do, where's the stud Where's the stud after this, Jay? The J bolt. Where did Look right here. You see this here? You don't have to take it off like this here in pieces. What you want to do is put it back together. Take it a 5.8 socket on the gun. Take your, Put your washer down. Take your 5.8 socket. All right, and wait till I get the rest of the batteries in, and I'll show you the trick. Got you on that, then. All right, so then over here we got positive, neck, positive, negative. So we're gonna need positive toward the outside. So you got positive, negative, positive, negative. Now, if you wanted to do if you wanted the wire lights up, all you would need is these two batteries here. You got your positive and your negative here. You don't go negative here and positive here because you're just feeding across the wire. We think about that. Look good? So then what I'm going to do is take my other battery here. I'm going to put, you got negative here, so positive goes toward the middle. All right. So you got positive and then negative. Now I'm going to show you an easy way how to, how to actually do this here. All right. What you want? How you want to remember it? Let me see. All right, remember this here. All right, on the outside batteries, negative to positive, negative to positive. All right. So pretty much you're taking these two, and they're looking just like these two. All right. Now this here is backwards, actually negative to positive, same way, negative to positive. All right. But all right, now I'm gonna show you this trick I do right here. So that way you don't have to crawl in the car. You barely start it. And then you want to take it. And down, down, way down there is a spot for this slides into. So what you do, you slide it down. You want to take it, so put it in there like that. You see what I did? I just push down, push it to the front, and tighten up right here. All right. Now, the way you're going to do your wires here, we have accessory here, but the accessories are, let's see. I'm going to go under. I'm going to go under. Where's the light wires at? Right, light wires are here. Now these are... What is this here for? Let me see. Let 
gonna see what these are. These batteries. Are. All right, these are LED headlights and tail lights, so they're already they're already uh, they're only 12 volts here. So this here should go this on this positive because your ground's right here. But what you could do, you could actually take it. Let me connect these wires here. Positive and negative here. Like I said, listen to the next tip. The tip, I'm going to tell you about the lights now. Pay attention. It'll come in handy, man. Then you got your positive here, negative here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to wire like this. And you see how these, look, all we use is uh, all I use OEM wires, man. Don't use no cheap crap, man, because it'll burn down. And you can see here, if you do get some cheaper ones, make sure this coating here is not over the wire lug itself. I'm going to put negative there. All right. Now, if you think about it, you could take your, your wire here. It has to go right here. But what I do now, because that's the way somebody did it before, is I'm going to set it right there. Now, if you look at it there, that's your negative. But it's not reading the negative battery. It's reading this wire right here, which is actually your positive. All right. Just like that. Hold, hold there. Now look, just like that, we got it in, man. Look at that. Just like that, man. He been biting with that about five minutes, trying to. He was trying to. Never knew that. He trying to reinvent the wheel. He, you know. But like I said, man, I recommend y'all watching any video, any of my videos, man, because I always throw in tips about anything during any video. So just because it says gas car don't run or golf cart troubleshooting does not mean that it's only about that type of golf cart. All right, we well, always throw some tips, some Easter eggs, something like that, man. Play too many games. Play too much Fallout 4. All right, now I'm going to take my gun, get a 916 socket. Now make sure you don't over tighten these, the thing up and burn it up. But I will say this, though. Remember this. If you have a battery where you left a wire loose and the battery post is melted, like this is melted right here, and you can't get the wire off, go to my page, man, and I got you a repair, how to fix it. It costs you about 6 bucks versus paying $200 for a battery. So what I'm going to do is turn my gun on one. All right, like that. And you see, I'm letting it hammer, but it ain't hurting nothing because it's low power. And all, when you tighten them up, always spin your wires around where you have to add water to them. All right, and also make sure you spray your batteries off about once every two to three months with water. Now, what we use is battery terminal. What I use, what we use here is battery terminal spray. Um, we getting battery terminal spray, Jay? Yeah. But if you're at the house and you got some wheel bearing grease or grease for the trailer or something, if you put that on there, man, it'll never corrode. So then what I'm going to do is go back to my wires and lightly just turn each one of them. You don't have to pull the nut up from the ground. All you want to do is snug it. Man. It's like six inch pounds. It ain't much, man. All right, any more than that. See what happens over time if you over tighten it and you spin it too much. What happens is inside this battery right here, this is actually a bolt that's actually made into the cast of the aluminum here. So you think about it, if you turn it too much, you actually begin to spin the bolt there inside the aluminum, and guess what? It's loose. So what happens there over time is it melts. All right. Well, see, now he's using, let me see, now he's using the battery terminal, battery terminal protection spray. Now, what you want to do now when you spray batteries is don't spray the battery. Yes, you, you want to spray the battery, but the main thing is you want to spray right here where the connection is. All right. A lot of people just spray the battery at the post itself. No, you want to spray you want to spray the connection itself, man. I mean, of course, yeah. I mean, of course, you want to coat the wire too. 
but you want to coat the connection. Now, what I'm going to do, this wire here is backwards, meaning that it ain't going to affect nothing. It's just going to drive me crazy because it's, it looks different. And before you put the seat on and walk away, what's the last thing you should do? Make sure you hit that like button, all right? And that subscribe button. Nah, the, message, the last thing you want to do, I appreciate you would hit the like and subscribe, is go back and see. It should be positive, neg positive, negative, positive, let's see, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. All right? So that right there, we just we just made sure that it was wired right and everything's good. But all right, man, we got 48 volts. Um, one thing I should have said to begin with, flip this in tow before you take your wire, put your wires back on, because if you don't, you'll see a little spark, and that's normal, because all you're doing is powering up the capacitors inside the controller. But all right, man, stay tuned. Man. Hit that like and subscribe button.